take an accidental gulp while swimming off Malibu or Huntington Beach and you instantly realize how terrible ocean water tastes. However, what if this water is really a sea of opportunity for water-starved Southern California? That's the belief of a private developer and financier of water projects called Poseidon Resources. They're currently building a giant desalination plant in Carlsbad to turn salty ocean water into drinking water. And Poseidon has plans in the works for a billion dollar desal project in Huntington Beach, next to this old SoCal Edison steam generating plant on PCH, just south of the pier. It's now owned by AES and is one of about 20 power plants along the California coast using seawater to generate electricity. Poseidon wants to take that process a step further and use some of the same seawater and desalinate it. Part of the value of co-locating the desal plant is we could reuse that industrial water, treat it so it's very high quality for human consumption. The process works by filtering the salt out of the seawater using reverse osmosis, which is the same system used to create some bottled water. That water can then be put in city pipes as tap water. The controversy starts with how the ocean water is captured. Poseidon was planning on using mesh screens to capture the ocean water and keep the sea life out. It's the process that will be used in the Carlsbad plant and one that's used around the world in places like Israel, Australia, and South America. However, opponents of the proposed Huntington Beach desal plant caused a huge stir over the environmental concerns, one concern being all the fish larvae and fish eggs killed when the water is extracted through the screens. That could change the natural cycle that currently happens off the coast of Huntington Beach. The project was delayed and the California Coastal Commission is asking for alternatives. The Coastal Commission has asked us to look at whether it'd be feasible to withdraw water from below the ocean floor, which is a very unique uh, kind of a novel seawater intake technology. It's not it's used around the world, but not on a large scale. But we're going to push the envelope here in Huntington Beach and see whether it'd be feasible here. The way it works is basically instead of a screen, the seafloor acts as a slow sand filter. Water flows through that sand filter into collection tubes that are buried under the ocean floor. The water is eventually delivered onto shore where it's treated. Maloney says there are about 15,000 desal plants operating around the world today. And here in Carlsbad, this facility when completed next year will be the largest seawater desalination plant in the Western Hemisphere. Maloney believes desal is a way of the future, admitting though there is a small price to pay. It's about $5 a month in Carlsbad. It's a different project with a more robust distribution system. It's more expensive. Here in Huntington Beach, the estimate by the Orange County Water District is it's going to be closer to 2 to $3 per household per month. What a sham, says Connor Everett's with the Santa Monica-based environmental group, Southern California Watershed Alliance. It's the most energy intensive, the most environmentally destructive, and produces the smallest amount of water for the most money. They're salespeople. They've got a sales pitch. It's a huge industrial dinosaur that's sitting here on the beach. It'll continue the industrialization. Everett's is not alone in his opinion. There are many organizations opposed to the desal project, including Heal the Bay, California Coast Keeper, the NRDC, the Surfrider Foundation, and the Los Angeles chapter of the Sierra Club, just to name a few. They are lying and they're manipulating, and you can see that in the hearings that are going on right now. A private company pushing public agencies, creating a false nonprofit called Cal Desal to promote their projects doesn't make any sense. We have the ability to reliably and responsibly treat seawater so it's suitable for human consumption. We're doing it in San Diego, we're doing it in Orange County, and it's inevitable for all of California.